kind of like the white man. The white man needs for you to work for him. When you're on the same manager level as him, now he looks at you different. Don't mean yeah, that. But that ain't got nothing to do with color, though, I don't think. No, it doesn't. It, it, it has nothing to do with color unless you're in the States. In the States, it slightly has to do with color uh, because 1995 was the creation of the Internet. And, and those hip hop kids, those white hip hop kids who appreciated black people have now become the older people. So before it was a race thing, it was, um, we're, you, you know, I, my grandfather told me something and now it's still stuck in my head. I don't want to feel that way, but Jay Wise, I mean, dumb nigga, I mean, I mean, Jay Wise, stuff slips out of them. And, 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 but now a lot of that has mellowed out since the creation of the internet. My point is that when you're a manager, owner, or supervisor, now it's mentality for, for mentality. Mm. You're just a educated, make more money than me. Let's say I'm your manager. I'm, I'm white as the driven snow. You make more money than me as, a, as my engineer. You yeah. still my laborer. You're still my laborer. Yeah. You're still under me and I decide whether you make money or don't make money. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so that's how they look at it. They look at it as in a aristocrat type of way. You can be poor, but you own several properties. Are you really poor? No, you see what I'm no saying? Way. And so that's how they look at it. So we as melanated people need to get back to that type of thought process where uh look, we don't even hire each other the way we should, Jay Wise. No, no, no. Right. You see that there, yeah? See, I've spoken about this before. I am not hiring nobody based upon their colour of their skin. I'm hiring someone if they have the skills to do the job properly. That's Why? it. Why? Because it don't matter about the colour of their skin. Now, if I'm just going to go out of my way, or not just me, because one person can't do it, but let's say the government say, oh, we're going to hire more black people for whatever reason. Yeah? That's not helping black people improve themselves. Because they're going to think, well, I don't need to work that hard. I don't need to work hard at all because there's always going to be a job waiting for me. No, okay. I'm only hiring people who have the skills to do the job. Whether they're Chinese or they're blue or they're Indian or they're white, it don't matter. I don't discriminate. I'm not just going to hire a black man because he's a black man. No. Okay. no. Let, me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question because I'm on that corporate side of things. Let me ask you a question. Yeah. So, if the Indian man is not thinking like you, He's hiring his people based on their flag. If the Chinese man is not thinking like you, he's hiring people based on his flag. Mathematically, how are you truly winning if you're surrounded by people like, like many offices are now, where you're on that standard yourself, but now you're outnumbered and no, and everybody is looking at you like, we need to get rid of him so our cousin can get in here. Yeah, I, yeah, I, 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 I do understand that. <sighs> because you got to under. Let, let me finish this thought because because that's why I let you get your full thing in. You guys got to understand that that level of thinking is not powerful. Numbers are powerful, so you do need to hire people just because they're Jamaican or just because they're Nigerian. You because you got to understand. There's no mechanism. Keyword here is human resource mechanism. There is no mechanism to stop a Japanese human resources lady from only giving you the manager Japanese applicants and telling yeah. you and telling you we can't find no black people. But secretly, she stopped several black people from 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 even seeing your uh, your desk. Right now, there's no mechanism for Indian. Why here, here in uh, America, there they have the H1N1 conversation. Now, think about this mathematically, and for you people in the chat room, think about this, because I drop all these little intellectual bombs. If you need an H1 visa because quote unquote there's not a lot of qualified people in America to do computers, right? Why are you only getting them from? Iran and Pakistan, hmm, let's put that to the side, but why does the Americans have to train them once they get there? Hmm, wouldn't they be doing the same thing if you picked an actual American? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. 
So that's to let you know that there's a game being played that the mm. male people don't realize. You're like, I want somebody qualified. Okay, that's you. You're 25% of the equation. How can you stop the 75% of the people from putting their people in? And now you're in an office by yourself. And, and, and what if people don't really care that you are qualified, Jay Wise? They simply want their flag brother to have your job. What you gonna yeah, do? Yeah, yeah, you made you made a good point, man. But it's wrong. But you made a good point. So I well, can't, yeah. but you know, respectfully, it's not wrong. It's the way power positions work. Black mm. people, and I say this out of love, black people have convinced themselves that, oh, we gotta get the right person. No blood. Before you were even born, it was called OJT, on-the-job training. People hire, <laughs> people hire ba people based on passion to do the job. Heart, desire, we'll train you. That's gone away. Now, Black, you never hear a, a Japanese, Chinese, Indian person just out the blue. I'm only going to hire people who are the most qualified. They never make that statement. Melanated people are the only ones making that statement. So mathematically, you got it for those people who enjoy math, you got to understand the algebra of here's this melanated person saying, I'm going to be a gatekeeper. I'm only going to hire person most qualified. And then here's this other set of people not following that standard. You're going to be outnumbered in a five year gap. Go ahead while I answer this phone, sir. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, he's right, man. It's, it's, <laughs> what he's saying is right. What he's saying is correct, but it's wrong. It's wrong. It's wrong. It's wrong. People should be hiring people based upon their skills and that. But he does make a good point about on-the-job training, though, because I've said before, there's some people, they are qualified electrician, plumber, or whatever, and the, only, the reason why they're qualified electrician, plumber, or whatever, is because they literally walked on the construction site and said, I have no training, someone train me up. But this couldn't happen nowadays because of all like qualifications and that. But back in like the 70s and 80s, a lot of people have done that. They've become skilled trades people literally by turning up to a construction site and say, someone give me a job, someone make me their apprentice.